right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. And today uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic text slash logo effects for Roblox um, design using Photopea. <coughs> Um, obviously we got a ton of Photoshop tutorials on the channel, but um, I know a lot of you have been asking for Photopea tutorials since you don't have Photoshop, so yeah, let's get right into it. First things first, new project, and for the size, I'm going to go 3000, the height is going to be 1950, and the DPI is going to be 100. Now to start off, we're going to go text tool. All right, I'm just gonna click, and all right, let's type out our text. Let's change the size first. Um, I'm gonna go for. I want to say 150. Uh, we can increase it later on, but anyways, now let's type out text. Can I type? Okay. So let's click on our move tool. Edit. Alright, so Alt, Control, and C is free transform. That's what we want, so Alt, Control, and C. And it's going to bring up the free transform. C, there we go. Now we're going to hold Alt, so we're going to drag this out. Actually, you want to hold Alt and Shift as you drag this out. Alt and Shift. As you can see, we hit Enter. I go back to our text tool, hit C, click Control A to select O. You just drag. And now we're going to change our font, so. Uh, let's find the fonts we could use. Um, I don't like this one. This makes a mess. Let's try this one. Nope, I don't like that either. Uh, this one. For some reason, the preview looks a little bit different than the actual font. Alright, so I'm just going to go with this font right over here. I'm going to scale this up again. Alright. We're gonna right click blending options. We're gonna go into color overlay. Um, click on this gradient box. We're gonna drag this. Alright, so if you double click here, we can select our color. So I'm gonna go with a darkish blue. Hit OK. Double click on this box. I'm gonna select another blue, just like that. Oops. Hit OK. Make sure you hit OK. Alright, now uh, let's right click and let's go into Rasterize Layer Style. Now we can right click again, go back into Blending Options, and let's go for. I want to do an. Uh, let's do this. Alright, so I'm going to take off the background. I'm just going to hide it. Right click the text, duplicate, and. Let's do this. So let's go blending options, color color overlay, change the color to white. Alright. Uh rasterize layer style. Now I'm going to hold control, click on the icon of the white text. I'm going to select, modify, I'm going to contract. And I'm gonna do contract by 20. Hit OK. And I'm gonna hit delete or backspace twice and control D to deselect and I'm gonna change this mode to overlay. Alright, below the opacity. Now we're gonna take this tool, right uh, rectangle select. I'm just gonna select some areas, hit delete, backspace, same thing. There we go. And we take our eraser tool, so if you hit E right over here. Let's take the hardness all the way down, opacity, and flow down as well. Increase the size. We're just gonna brush away some parts. As you can see. And now, let's uh, click over here to make a new layer. We want to go to our pencil right over here. Pencil, shape, and fill. Let's go for black. And we're just going to start clicking right over here. So click, and if you click here, and you drag, and you drag, you make a curve. So click and drag up, click and drag down, click and drag up, 
we're just gonna circle around just like that go back to our move tool and the goal for this is if we right click and go into clipping mask actually you gotta drag it underneath uh, this white outline thing we made earlier so this should clip into the original text I'll make this into overlay so as you can see if you do control shift H H for horse on the keyboard and you can hide this blue outline all right so let's turn down the opacity let's use our erasure tool once again uh, right click rasterize and we're just going to erase soften the edge back to move tool or if you hold alt and drag this layer it will automatically make a duplicate as you drag like this all right so got that there we go and now let's make a new layer again we go to our rectangle we're gonna click and hold move down to the ellipse and let go and change your color to white I actually changed the fill color over here to white and we're going to make an ellipse like this all right move to move this up and go right click and click the mask change this into an overlay Control shift X to get rid of the outline. There we go. And let's move this up here. I'm gonna copy so alt as you can see. And now I want to make this text 3D. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to copy this text. So hold alt and we're gonna drag this down. When you let go, just make a copy. With our move tool, uh, make sure auto slice is turned off. We're gonna hold shift. All right. So once you're holding that, we're gonna drag this layer down. As you can see, we're gonna right click. We're gonna go into our blending options. We're gonna go into color overlay. We're gonna click on this box. Click on our uh, this bottom color. And we're just going to make it a bit darker. As you can see. I'm gonna hit OK and OK. We're gonna make a new layer. And now we're gonna go into our eyedropper tool. And we're going to select uh, this color. Alright, so. And now we're going to zoom in. And if you see these points, we have to connect these. So. Here we go. 